Managing hybrid cloud solutions. I mean, how many in here are familiar with Red Hat at this stage of the game? You're going to learn a lot today. I mean, this is good for customers that have on-prem solutions for cloud, as well as public solutions for cloud. And this is an easy way for you to manage those environments in a very efficient, easy way. I'm a specialist solutions architect with Red Hat. Ultimately, at its core, CloudForms is a hybrid cloud management tool. It's meant for managing on-prem and cloud providers. And we'll talk about what those are. But really, it's about managing the life cycle and the whole process of all your VMs. If we had to boil it down, what CloudForms does for you, it's all around um, sort of optimization. So it's getting all of the data from your systems and putting it in a presentable way for you. Um, compliance and governance, so using that data that we collected to put governance rules and policies and management around it. If you can measure it, you can manage it. And then finally getting um, sort of service management. So when we look at things that are new, how do we go from blank slate to finished product? How do we get through that whole process? CloudForms is completely agentless. So this is kind of a unique differentiator in our space is that we don't have agents that need to be running in certain places. The main thing is you don't need to go around to every single server you have, install some magical client that shoots data back to it. Instead, we can just go and pluck the data out as we need it. We have quota and chargeback. So this works on-prem as well as in cloud. So you have the ability to assign chargeback rates to your system, and then you can charge back your internal business units, your customers, or even just different IT organizations or groups for consuming your resources. We're talking about the end product of what a VM looks like. So if we're talking about maybe a four or five stage application, where we have a web front end, we have a back end that's running our uh, actual platform technology or framework, we might have sort of a load balancer, a memory cache, and we might have a database. And so we could have all of those sort of conformed as a single service. We can turn this into an item in a catalog and let our users through a self-service portal, order that and sort of provision this entire piece out at once. So it allows us as IT to kind of orchestrate a service and provide that service directly to our customers and they don't need to know all the details on the back end. We have the ability to retire systems. Retiring systems means that we basically have them shut down after a certain period of time. I'm talking about the powers of self-service and how awesome it is, but what happens when you get into self-service? Well, you lose some control. Not really in cloud forms, but the idea is that your customers or users or whatever you like to call them, they want to be able to um, do manage their own resources. But as IT, if we allow people to manage their own resources, how do we maintain control of that? How do we know how we're going to grow? How do we manage all that information? So what we can do is we can actually put in different approval processes. So this is going to auto-approve in just a minute, but if I wanted to, I could add as many steps into the approval process as I want. There is an integration point today with Ansible Tower, which is the, the management tool for managing that. In the next version that is coming out, uh, that will be integrated into CloudForms as a piece of CloudForms. We do have a lot of Unix to Linux migrations. We also have like full consulting engagements that are just doing that, right? Like it's, it's almost uh, automatic and just being able to roll through and get that stuff going. So we've thought really long and hard about the types of reports that our customers are going to use. So you don't have to write and customize a lot of these things out of the box. It's one of the big differentiators from the Red Hat CloudForms perspective versus some of our competitors out there. If we're sitting there monitoring and we realize, oh, wait a minute, our one CPU system has been hitting 80% utilization for maybe two minutes, well, maybe we want to add another CPU. Rev has the ability to add um, hot CPU and memory and storage to a system. There's two ways that you can purchase a subscription to CloudForms. Number one is by managed nodes, so dual socket servers. So if you have five ESXi servers that you're managing, you have five subscriptions to CloudForms that you purchase. Secondarily, if you're running out in the public cloud, you purchase them in a single subscription will give you up to 16 cloud instances. 
My name is Matthew Ward. I'm with Red Hat. I'm a specialist solutions architect that covers all of North America for our cloud and emerging technology portfolio. My name is George Pappas, regional sales manager at Saturn Business Systems. At Saturn Business Systems, we are currently in the process of offering our customers free POCs on cloud forms. Mm -hmm.